Well, do you have one of these? There is a growing scam in town where a criminal gets his hands on your secret code and then breaks into your car, taking all your valuables. So how does this happen? Better yet, how can you protect yourself? Well, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has been digging for answers all day and joins us with the very latest. Ed. Well, Jeff, local police tell me they are seeing an increase in burglaries inside homes and cars. And while some believe that might be connected to the heroin epidemic, there's another problem. Thieves now have technology where they can steal the signals from your car's remote like this one. Unfortunately, whenever something is made, there's always somebody there to defeat that system. It is part of our normal routine. Park the car and lock the doors using the remote. But is your vehicle really secure? Turns out it might not be. Everything is key and remote base now, so there's very few vehicles that have them separate. New affordable technology is allowing thieves to use special equipment and even cell phone apps to steal the signals from your car's remote, allowing the crooks to unlock doors without the driver knowing about it. In some cases, it's feared the hacking devices can steal the signals from right inside your home. They could be a couple hundred feet away. Yes, there has been a, 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 an uptick in the amount of vehicles that are being broken into. Town of Tonawana police tell us they have had complaints from victims who believe the hacking devices were used to get into their cars. We've had several reports that people have had their locked cars broken into with no signs of forced entry. Uh, but um, again, we have no way to be able to prove that one of these devices was used. Ron Chase operates Buffalo Key and Lock a family-owned business that's been in operation for 150 years. He says legitimate locksmiths use expensive equipment to access a car security system in order to make duplicate remotes. But hackers are using the new technology to steal the codes right out of the air. Most of your manufacturers are aware of these different problems and are trying to come up with different alternatives. The hacking becomes the latest worry for car owners. And according to the FBI, a car is stolen every 45 seconds. That's 1,900 cars every day in the U.S. The signal stealing is not widespread yet, but police are warning car owners that they need to take precautions. And one of the big things they see people doing wrong is they wait till they get to the parking lot at the mall or the store before they put their valuables in the trunk. Well, while they're doing that, someone in the parking lot can watch them and knows that they're going to go into the store for a period of time. So the advice tonight, Jeff, is to make sure you get those valuables put away before you get to your final destination. Great report, great advice there. Obviously, your GPS systems, your laptops, really your iPads, anything inside your car you want to stick away we talked to AAA about more tips some of these are pretty straightforward but a good reminder for everyone out there to always make sure you park your car in a well-lit place also always lock your doors and of course keep your windows closed and also remember to remove any spare keys from inside your vehicle because once again all your inside belonging inside your car could just be one click away for thieves actually let's send it back inside to you all right, we'll see you back in the studio. Thanks, Jeff.